The cycle of the two-stroke engine is completed in two strokes of the piston. The engine in which one cycle is completed in four strokes of the piston is referred to as the four-stroke engine. The cylinder head of the four-stroke engine has an inlet port and an outlet port. Each port is equipped with its own valve. These valves are operated by the camshaft and they open and close the ports to affect intake and exhaust. This is the main characteristic of the four-stroke engine. Let's begin with the explanation of the intake stroke. When the piston descends from TDC towards BDC, the inlet valve is opened and the exhaust valve remains closed. The descent of the piston lowers the pressure in the cylinder and the fuel-air mixture is taken into the cylinder. Next is the compression stroke. The inlet valve is closed before the piston reaches BDC and the cylinder chamber is sealed. The piston then rises and compresses the mixture in the cylinder. During the combustion stroke, the compressed mixture is ignited by the spark plug. Combustion creates expanding gases and the piston is pushed down by their force. This is the source of the engine's power. During this time as well, both valves remain closed. The exhaust stroke is last. The piston reaches BDC and begins to rise again. This time the exhaust valve opens and the exhaust gases are let out. The strokes as seen in succession are shown here. Four strokes of the piston are required to complete one cycle and drive power is provided once every two revolutions of the crankshaft. This graph expresses the changes in the internal pressure of the cylinder during each stroke of the cycle. During intake, a vacuum is created in the cylinder. During compression, pressure increases slowly. At ignition, just before TDC, pressure increases suddenly, pushing the piston down hard. Then, after combustion, the pressure falls suddenly and is reduced even further during the exhaust stroke. The valves of the four-stroke engine make sure that mixture intake and post-combustion gas exhaust are affected with precision. The timing of their opening and closing is referred to as valve timing. If we take a closer look at an actual engine, we can see that valve timing is slightly different from the times when the piston reaches TDC and PDC. The valve timing is set in this way due to the inertia of the mixture and exhaust gases in order to improve engine efficiency. The four-stroke valve timing diagram shows at which angle of rotation of the crankshaft the valves are opened and closed. It is similar to the port timing diagram used in the two-stroke engine and demonstrates when intake, compression, combustion and exhaust occur. The intake valve usually opens just before TDC. This allows for intake mixture inertia, making it possible to take in larger amounts of mixture. The intake valve closes after BDC for the same reason. The valves remain closed for both the compression and combustion strokes. The exhaust valve begins to open before BDC of the combustion stroke. It opens early in order to be sure that all the unneeded exhaust gases are expelled from the cylinder. The exhaust valve shuts after passing TDC of the exhaust stroke. This is done in order to utilize the inertia of the exhaust gases to clear them out of the cylinder.
The intake valve also opens around TDC of the exhaust stroke. Both valves being open at the same time is referred to as overlap. The mass of the mixture vapors let in at the end of the exhaust process aids in pushing out the exhaust gases still left in the cylinder. The early opening also allows more mixture to be taken into the cylinder. The camshaft is responsible for opening and closing the intake and exhaust valves. In order to assure the proper timing between the operation of the valves and the piston movements, it is necessary to adjust the timing of the crankshaft and the camshaft. The camshaft and crankshaft are connected by a chain that runs around sprockets on both shafts. The connection is designed so that the camshaft turns once for every two turns of the crankshaft. Whenever a four-stroke engine is taken apart and reassembled, it is necessary to adjust the timing of the camshaft and crankshaft. That is to say, the valve timing. The operation of the valves differs according to the type of four-stroke engine. Some engines utilize a rocker arm between the cam and the valve tappet, and others have the tappets rest directly on the valves themselves. In both cases, there is always a gap between the valve and the rocker arm, or cam and tappet. If there were no gap, the valves would not close completely during the compression and combustion strokes there would be leakage of fuel-air mixture and the power output of the engine would be reduced. This gap is referred to as the valve clearance. It is important to adjust it precisely. <laughs>